Hey there, spooky friends, and welcome to episode 300 <laughs> of the Scariest Podcast. Uh, that's not including all the story times. We have lots of story times, too, but these are our you know, main topic episodes. We're at, we're at episode 300. Um, Technically, this episode, even though it's a topic episode, it's not going to have a topic, y'all. It's going to be a celebration because 300 episodes is a lot. It's a lot of, of episodes. episodes. Yeah, so this one's going to be a bit cash. We're going to kick it's back. It's going to be chaotic. Yeah, for sure. We're going to talk about some stuff when it comes to Scarish. I have a couple of little games to play. Robin has one or two, I think. And then uh, I have some uh, trivia that you can play along. I'm going to basically quiz Robin on some Scarish trivia that I think is very hard. Uh, and if you folks get points out there, uh, just comment on the Instagram post hey. with the number, the total. <laughs> Guys, we've already covered that we don't know shit about our topic. Man, that episode. It where, was rough. Yeah, Marsha decided to give us that whole uh, game show. It was very fun. Uh, super fun. So uh, we just didn't do well. I think I would have won had I not answered so many incorrect. <laughs> yeah, I should have just kept my mouth shut, which probably would have made for bad podcasting. But hey, is what it is. I still thought the episode was really fun. Um, for this one, though, how do you want to start? you want to start with games? you want to talk about like the future of the show? Um, let's start with something fun. Something fun? Okay. How about we start... We, let's start out this 300th episode of Scarish with some Scarish trivia. Okay. And then the folks at home or, you know, wherever the fuck you are while you're listening to this uh, can play along as well. Um, but yeah, I, I was going through things when I realized we hit 300 episodes. I was thinking to myself... I really wonder this or that about the show. And so I started digging into some numbers. Um, so, okay. We posted something uh, a while ago that said, thank you for 1 million listens when we hit 1 million downloads. That was years ago. Do you remember what month and year we posted that? That was, that's got to be 2000. And 20, no, 2019, uh, September. It was October of 2020. Damn, damn. Yeah. It took us two years and 11 months because we started this November, late November of 2017. Oh, wow. Uh, so it took us two years and 11 months to hit 1 million downloads okay which is pretty awesome it's an amazing feed i never thought we would ever get close to a million um but the reason i looked that up is because i thought to myself how many downloads do we have now because i decided that i was not going to one million five hundred thousand right <laughs> i decided that i wasn't going to post about two million i wanted our next milestone to be five million okay and uh so i'm curious if you have a guess as to how many downloads we have had at this point it's august 27th 2024. four years later so we have been doing this show as soon as it hits November this year. Almost six years. That will be seven full years. Seven years. Yeah. Oh, Lord. Hang on. Eight, nine. Seven. Zero. Yeah. One, two, three, four. Yeah. Seven full years. So we're still in the progress. We're six years, nine months, something like that. Mm -hmm. uh, so how many downloads do you think we've had so far? To this if day. If at two years and 11 months, we had 1 million, and now we're going to be seven years, I'm going to say 2.7 million. Okay. I thought we would be around three and a half to four, because we did have a very big increase in listenership after we hit 1 million that was sustained for quite some time. Uh, we currently, and I went to all these sources, I went to uh, Spreaker, which tallies up all of the possible places you can download us right now. Uh, and I removed Spotify because their they're reporting for Spotify is not accurate. I went to Spotify and got the numbers from there. Uh, and then I checked our website, see how many times our stuff's been listened to on our website, our YouTube page. And then uh, Patreon wouldn't give me the numbers. So we might be a little bit low on this number, but we are at 5.3 no million downloads. Y'all. Yeah. Didn't realize wow. we had crossed that line. But I forgot that we, we I... had a bump from <sighs> a few folks. Uh, that have other shows, and we had like pretty big numbers there. That means for I a need to years. make a new post about five million. <laughs> and we crossed the five million mark, and I hadn't, I haven't checked it in like two years. I think last time I checked it, we were just about to hit four. That's a little less than a million a year. Yeah, yeah, we've done pretty wow. well. 
So the first, it took us like three years to get to a million, and then our pace kind of scaled up. We're kind of back to the pace we were at the first three years. Okay. As far as downloads go, um, because we're not as consistent. Right. With we're the not. Show. We're chilling. Well, that was like the hard and fast rule of scaryish and and nerd chills for that matter is that every week you had an episode, and we did that for a while. I think we held on to that like credo for like five and a half years, but sometimes life uh, finds a way of ruining shit. <laughs> And we decided, you know, a a week here, a week there off probably was better for our mental health in the grand scheme of things than having an episode every single week. Yeah. And I did feel like the quality had dipped just slightly, especially because we were apart at that time. So it was very hard to have like our normal chemistry and cadence when there was like a two second delay where it's like I'd tell a hilarious joke and then you would laugh at it never. Um, so <laughs> I still do that, and we sit next to each other. Yeah, so. that's true. So, um, but, but yeah, five point yeah. three million. So wow. something to celebrate. Um, but that's the first part. After that, I was like, I should look up some more scariest statistics and uh, quiz Robin and see how well she's doing. Do you know the Muffin Man? The Muffin Man. The Muffin Man. Do you know which episode of ours has been listened to the most? Um, it's probably the one with the black eyed children. That is wrong. Oh, okay. To be fair, there are 300 episodes to choose from, not including this one. Uh, I did include, for some reason, the episode that came out tomorrow. Because we're recording this back-to-back with episode 299, y'all. Because we're at the moment I'm talking and you're listening to this, we're in Italy just living life. (laughs) Or we died on the way there. Or we died on the day. You know how many times I've heard, like, hope you come back in one piece or so. I'm like, bro. People always say shit like that. Yeah. But no, it is not the Black Eyed Children episode. I will say that episode is the one that I've had people tell me more often than not scared the fuck out of them. Yeah. Just straight up creep them it's out. because kids are scary. And I said so many times on that episode that this entire story is bullshit. And multiple times I mentioned the author of it stated that it was fictional and then it got taken from him and spread around the internet and people claimed that it was real. Then people started claiming to see the Black Eyed Children. So if it is a real thing... People manifest their own boogeymen. Mm. So I'm going to write the most horrific shit you could ever imagine and try and get it to go viral on the internet. Robin's looking behind her because she heard a noise from her own desk. No, I'm looking for a scrunchie. No, it's not shocking, though. The episode of ours that it has been listened to the most is actually episode zero, the pilot. You're lying. No, wow. and it's the one that's been out the longest. People start there. Okay. Uh, and I That think means they never finish. I get it, guys. It has like 21,000 plays at this point, so... For if that pace would have been kept, I think we're like well over 13 million for each other episode. The second most listened to episode is episode one and two and three and four and five and six. And then Black Eyed Children jumps up. I think that's episode like 28 or something like that. Maybe a little bit earlier, but it definitely jumps the scale. Yeah. It's actually really healthy for a podcast for your best episodes to be the ones that were released the furthest away. But anytime something notable like uh, a movie property or something people recognize, like something very famous happens, those episodes have a decent amount of downloads too. So it's not shocking that as we're hitting episode 300 and we've basically covered all the really big ones, that the numbers aren't burning up the charts as they used to when we still had a right. lot of like stuff to cover. Yeah. Um, but yeah, episode zero, the pilot. And speaking of the pilot, your next piece of trivia here, Robin, do you know what our original sign-out was? Oh, n- I... Oh, God, I don't even know. <laughs> was it you calling everyone fuck nuggets? I actually... No. No, I think... That's funny, though. Is the original what I've always said? Is that your official guess? Yeah. No. What was it? Our original sign-out, and some of you may remember this, our original sign-out was Keep Creeping. Oh, That's it. Okay. We found out, I think, three or four episodes in, because someone wrote in and let us know, creeping means cheating on your significant other in a monogamous relationship. <laughs> oh, my God. And we kept saying no. it. You were like, ah, who cares? And we kept saying it for like two episodes. And then I think episode... Oh, no, no, no. That's my next question. Um, What episode did we start saying keep on creeping Four. On? No. Five. No. Three. No. And nine. Seven. We started okay. saying it on episode seven. That's the first time I tossed the sign out to you. We used to go back and forth on the sign outs and on the intros, I think. And I tossed the sign out to you. And you did this thing back then where you would always forget our sign out. And so you were paused for a second and you just came out with, keep on creeping on? Like it was a question that you said. And we both decided like, oop, that's, that's it. it. Yeah. Nailed it. And that's Tasty. been on our merch ever since. 
So, okay, cool. I do think you're going to get this next bit of trivia. Okay. Of scariest trivia. So, uh, which guest has been on the show the most in 300 episodes? Uh, <laughs> the Kangs. No. What? They've only been on twice. Okay. Ralph. Ralph has been on three times. Oh, okay. Yep. We've had the special guest Ralph episode. We had uh, Ralph two. Return of Ralph, or I can't remember how I, Revenge I titled of the that Ralph. one. Revenge of the Ralph was the third one. <laughs> yeah, for sure. I put. I should have put the Phantom Ralph. Dang. At one point, but that would have been the first one. Um, Attack of the Clone Ralphs. That sounds horrible. It Ugh, sounds horrible. Everything about episode two sucks. Okay, cool. I, I, you know, you hate on you know the second one, but. Order 66 was... That's episode three. Okay. So, yeah. Go well, ahead and wait, point why out is it something called, good from it. Why is it called one. Attack of the Clones? Because that's when the war starts. The end of that begun the Clone War has. <laughs> You're welcome. Nice. Nice. All right. We said this episode was going to be a shit show. I will tell you exactly why I hate episode two and by and large the prequels. Burpgate? What? Burpgate? I'm literally talking about Star Wars. Oh, Star and you're Wars. mentioning Burpgate. It's so hard to talk to you sometimes. But yeah, I hate the prequels and especially episode two because if you liked Star Wars before those movies came out, if you watched the original trilogy and liked Star Wars at any point, you knew that Yoda was a tiny creature that was very powerful because he had the force. At no point in Luke's training does he talk about lightsaber play or forms. He is just a powerful creature who is of diminutive stature because he has the force. And seeing him lift Luke Skywalker's X-Wing, I'm getting cold chills just thinking about it, out of the swamp so that he can leave, is him just Wait. showing through the Force, am I made powerful? You're telling me, acrobatic Yoda. As soon flipping. as he started bouncing off the walls like Richard <laughs> fucking Simmons, God rest his soul, Oh, it's like they had just given me the middle finger and told me... <laughs> We never understood what made the franchise good, and we don't give a fuck as long as we can make a buck. And that should be <laughs> the poem written on George Lucas's headstone when I piss on it once he's dead. I'm going to admit that episode one is the first one I ever saw. Yep. A lot of folks. Here's the other thing I want to say, too. After I poured out all that hate, which made me feel so much Let better. Let the hate letting, flow through I you. I did, indeed, is that you <laughs> should never blame actors for really poor material. If you have a bad actor, you have a bad actor. If it's a kid actor, give him a fucking break. He's a kid. But like, Ewan McGregor is amazing. You know? Hello there. Like, Hayden Christensen <laughs> getting so much shit is just so unfair. And yes. seeing how much it meant to the two of them to come back for the Obi-Wan show should make people understand that those movies weren't made for them. And I know that they weren't made for me either because I was like, you know, it's not made for an adult. kids like me. It's made for kids, but at the same time, kids need to have that same message of you do not have to be big and acrobatic to be powerful. You can be small too. Yeah, you can that's be true. slow, and you can be like in Yoda's case, he's basically unable to move around quickly, <laughs> but he's awesome because he has the force. Seeing Hayden Christensen get really emotional yeah. over getting acknowledged. Um, it should tell just... you how much it means to him to know, just for him to know, people enjoyed the thing he did. Yeah. You know? Because he did do a lot of fucking work. The fact that they didn't speed up footage or have stunt doubles for episode three's lightsaber battle is incredible. The iconic lightsaber twirl. He has a specific move that he yeah. just started doing, which makes sense because it's how you would defend your back while you do like spins and shit. Because a lot of the acrobatics imagine, they do make zero sense. Like how I would learn to do that. I would love to learn to do that. Yeah, We can Except, move on from Star Wars because I can literally talk about this yeah. shit all day. <laughs> anyway. So I think that was the end of Scariest Trivia though. Um, oh no, I have another one. This is really good. This isn't really Scariest Trivia. This is Adam and Robin Trivia. How many jobs have we had combined between the two of us since the show started? Seven. It is seven. How would yeah. you add that up so fast? Because I live it. You just knew it off the top yes. of your head because you lived it? Yeah. Okay. I lived the Star Wars. <laughs> that makes no sense. You just... No, it's a quote from a freaking... they In How I Met Your Mother... I hate you. Uh, in How I Met Your Mother, Marshall talks about Star Wars, and one of the things he says is, they lived the Star Wars. Ah, yes. Yeah. Okay, cool. So, yeah, we have had seven. I've had four. You've had three. So, yeah. I just hit my fourth. Yep. With this new hop that I just did. I joined yeah. a company. I was like, by the way, guys, I'm leaving for three weeks. Seven years, seven jobs, y'all. Yep. Between two people, though. I mean, but we are one entity. 
We're scaryish. We are scaryish. <laughs> if you consider scaryish a job, then we've been doing this shit we for seven. It's the longest fucking job I've ever had. I just realized that. Okay, I got more trivia. How many pasta times before we stop doing pasta time? Four. Ooh. Four? Do we try, do a lot? Try 34. Oh my goodness. We did a shit ton. <laughs> wow. Okay. How many story times have we done? Um... 198 207 nice yeah we did it we did the 200th story time a while back oh okay (laughs) yeah she completely (laughs) forgot about that um and last but not least how many episodes have we released between specials pasta time story time and topic episodes as of this moment where episode 298 is the most recent episode to be published okay don't count 299 don't count 300 i'm gonna say 422. 550 episodes. Bro! That's Your a math lot. is really bad. We are at 298, oh, and my I just told bad. you we had 207 story times. Which but I can count us, my traumas. Which would put well over 500. <laughs> I can count my traumas. That should be on a fucking t shirt. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> All right. Oh, that'd be so funny. Maybe that'll be a next sticker for before our patrons. We, before we move into a game or our mm. next fun time, let me ask you this question, Robin. What do you see in Scarish's future? What do you want to see? Uh, let's not say five years down the road. I think that's kind of ambitious for a podcast at seven years old. But what do you see in Scarish's maybe immediate future? Maybe 2025. Um, You know, I'm actually enjoying doing the one topic per episode Me too. thing. Um, I like that we go more in depth each topic um, because I feel like before we're kind of rushing it, right? 30 minutes each trying to get to yeah. that one, one hour mark. I think... I mean, just my topic today, <laughs> earlier today, that you guys listened last week, um, was, you know, 45 minutes or something like that. And it's just me. And you I know? famously have very um, long topics. So there's been times where I go first, where you're like, we're done for the night, right? And you haven't even gone yet. And I'm like, no, there has to be two. Fuck, I wish we would have saved those. Yeah. Like, any anytime I went over 35, Facts. 40 minutes, it should have just been like, cool, we'll chop it right here. Yeah. But no. Nope. Stupid past Adam. And I now know. future Adam is like, fuck you. Burned through um, a lot of but content. But I think I, I think we're gonna keep going with that one topic type thing. I would love if we had more story times. That's I think that's something that I miss. I miss sharing like people that share with us their experiences and their stories. I, I love reading those. I think that was really fun. I think that was an important part of what made us what we were in the beginning um and i remember the first story we got uh, was from sam right we were like not uh, only is someone listening to us but they're listening from a different country yes that was mind-blowing absolutely flabbergasted that anybody wanted to talk to us at all um and and now you know we have a bunch of friends like i i message so many people that we've met through the show um shout out to claudia and Faye. you know these these people that we and glitch and glitch yeah justin we, you know we, there's a lot of people that we've met and it's so it's so cool that sometimes i'm just like you know my friend Faye. <laughs> i mean i'm on different and, uh, podcasts with Faye now it's yeah, crazy it's know? really cool that that we've met all these people um claudia and- too like artists that we met through the show yeah just absolutely, absolutely the kindest person at art um, by local lola go check that out yeah. on instagram she's fucking incredible and uh yeah i'm really thankful for the show just because we've we've met so many people and we want to meet more people and i really miss sharing those stories and those those personal experiences and if you guys have them please keep sending them to us because uh i want to bring those back we just don't have enough to share and uh i agree yeah i will say in my opinion for 2025 i'm I'm trying not to worry about content i'm always worried we're gonna run out of stories i, I think what would really likely happen is we take a hard shift into true crime yes once we started running out of stuff unless yeah. it was like contemporary stuff that's happening in the news now oh here's some ufo news which i don't really necessarily want i want to do. do like a follow-up episode of things yeah. where things have been solved or they've found evidence of New this or that yeah, yeah for sure um or like you know un- yeah unsolved mysteries that are now solved type it of would thing. be definitely it's definitely gonna be beneficial for us to do alternating weeks like we've been doing this past uh month or so mm-hmm. it's made things a lot easier on us 
Um, and as far as, you know, scarish goes, I think that's a pretty good goal. I do want to stream more, but realistically, I'm going to be traveling more. Yeah. Upcoming. Same. So I might wind up just streaming stuff on my personal channel. I just like, you know, when I'm not working, I'll probably be at a hotel with my laptop and I just figure why not just stream me speed running Ocarina of Time so I can pass the time or <laughs> I, something like that. I think that. both of us are kind of wanting to um, stick our fingers in different pies, so to speak. This is Robin saying she wants to create her F1 podcast. <laughs> No, I'm not going to create an F1 podcast, but my threads is my like motorsports account. So if you want to follow me on threads, um, that's where I post all my motorsports stuff. So I don't, I literally don't post anything else on there except for motorsport. So if you want to go over there, um, but uh, I do want to make more motorsport content. That is definitely something that that is, you know, my goal. I want to do the movie podcast. That's yeah, something too. that I want to do. We've been talking um, about that for a long time. I squatted the domain and all the guys handles do you, on it. Do you hear how much we talk about movies? We talk I, about movies like constantly. It's funny because I I listen to a lot of shows that are movie podcasts or YouTube channels, and they're usually reviews where they just trash bad movies. It's bad bad movie content is basically a genre of uh just people who know a lot about movies who want to point out to you how bad some movies were made, and it's funny and it's fun. But I've always wanted to do a movie appreciation podcast. Yeah. And that's kind of what Scene Missing always has been, is let me show you something that I really like. Yes. And if and you it, want to shit on it, shit on it, yeah. and then we can talk about it after the fact. But it's something that it's like, I want to live in that nostalgia, you know? Like, I, I want to reminisce. Live in that nostalgia. I want to reminisce, and I want to share something that I enjoy. Like, um, there's Adam loves Ghostbusters, okay? He can quote every Fuck single yeah. line from Ghostbusters 2. It is insane. Like, I was watching Ghostbusters 2 the other day. He would come into the room and literally say every single line. He loves that movie. And I think it's fun to just talk about those things that we love. Like, I'm sure Adam could tell me, like, you know, did you know? It's like that scene in <laughs> fucking Lord of the Rings that everyone has memes about, like, did you know Viggo Mortensen broke his toe when he kicked that helmet? <laughs> Like wanting to do it's, stuff. Like did you that know that he he uh, bought that horse? Yeah, yeah, for sure. Uh, there's a lot of stuff we there's a lot of stuff we want to do. A lot of, we have a lot of fingers. Okay, we're gonna stick our fingers in a lot of things. Yeah, um, <laughs> yeah we are. <laughs> wow, chicka, but, wow, wow. Uh, so that is, I think, what is coming in the future for us as hosts. Um, we're still going to be doing scaryish. We're still going to be making these episodes. Um, write us but more we, stories, folks. Yeah, please. Can, you know, send us more stories. I think a lot um, of our folks that are regulars are the ones that have had the courage to send us stories, and some folks that are regulars haven't. And it's okay, I think, or they just haven't had anything happen to them. You mm -hmm. know, we've talked to folks who are like, "Do you want to come on the show?" They're like, "I straight up have never had anything creepy happen to me in my entire life." So that happens. But if you have friends or family that might have a story they'd like to share. We'd definitely like to hear it. Or if you have been listening and keep thinking, oh, I'll send them the story sooner or later, send it to us, guys. That's the reason you don't see story times popping up as much because we don't want to burn through every bit of content we have. And then when we do, we have to stop and we have to wait for more to come in. Yeah. So it's just something that happens. We've been around for seven years. So uh, outside of that, I think the one thing I really do want to try and do in 2025, which is probably a bit ambitious, is get some guests on the show. That aren't just friends or yes. family members. Some other, that would be cool. Other content creators out there in the world would be cool. We should probably have Claudia on the show. I'm oh, shocked we haven't done it yet. Yeah, I and, don't know uh, if she has any stories, but hey. I mean, she's she's very vocal about her art creation on her accounts, and she obviously is very good at like talking to people. So this is our informal request. She helped be me on the pack show. for the vacation. Did she? <laughs> yeah, wow. she sent me a packing list. She's very talented. So it'd be cool to get her Multifaceted. on. Multifaceted. Um, and then there's other spooky friends we might be able to do. But I, I have a couple of content creators that I watch. That It would be really cool to just reach out and be like, hey, straight up, you're not going to get more famous from being on our show. But I'm a big fan of what you do. I think it would be a great episode if you came on, if you had a story to tell. And uh, feel free to listen to any of our episodes from the past. And if they don't respond, they don't respond. If they say no, hey, at least they said something back. Maybe they say yes. Like, you never know. Yeah. I think it'd be super cool to just try and do. Um, and yeah, that, I think that's going to be a major goal of mine in 2025 is to reach out to folks. I'm going to reach out to one content creator as soon as I get back from Italy. Because I figured the the worst thing ever would be if I reached out right before the vacation. And they said, I'm super excited. Let's do this. I can only do it tomorrow. <laughs> 
<laughs> I'm like, ooh, I really didn't expect you to answer me, my dude. I'm going to be back in three weeks. You just, you you just got to slide into their DMs. Yeah, I know. I don't yeah. have those skills. Uh, my skills for sliding into someone's DMs was verbally because that wasn't a fucking thing until after I met you. So, <laughs> All right. Enough talk about the future. Let's uh, play some more games. So obviously, I think we might have talked about doing this before and we never actually did it. Uh, but we're going to go ahead and do... What do you want to do first? Do you want to design a crypt or do you want to do Mary let's, Kill? Let's uh let's design well no. Let's do let's do uh bang Mary Kill. Mary Fuck Kill. Let's call Mary Fuck Mary, Kill. Oh Jesus. Okay. All right. So what we're gonna play is a game called Mary Fuck Kill. You're gonna get three characters, people, creatures, whatever. You have to pick one to marry, one to fuck, one to kill. Okay. All right, I'm gonna go first. What are the you give your answer, then I give my answer, and then you propose your three. Okay. And we'll go until we're out. All right. Okay. So my first one is three of the big heavy hitters. Okay. All right. Mary fuck kill, Mothman, Nessie, and Bigfoot. I would <laughs> marry Nessie, right? Okay. Take me to your mystical land where I'll stay with you forever. I would definitely bang Mothman. Have you seen his abs? <laughs> wow. <laughs> I'm sorry, Bigfoot. You got to go. All right. So mine is very similar. Uh, but I would marry Mothman because really? he is caked up so hard. Oh my god! Have you seen people? Yeah, like, sticking putting stuff coins in his, in his butt crack. Uh, so yeah, marry Mothman. I would fuck Nessie because Nessie is a giant prehistoric dinosaur that would definitely smash my body to pieces in snoo, such a snoo. glorious way. Death my snoo, uh, snoo. But yeah, I would definitely kill Bigfoot. I'd I'm be like, sorry, sorry, Bigfoot. You gotta I'm go. Sorry. You don't even want to be known. Like yeah. you keep hiding and everything. I mean, so hey, Nessie hides too, but that's not what it's about. Nessie it's pops up every type. now and then and just takes a really nice picture and then goes just, back down. They just seem like they would take me away. <laughs> that secret place. <laughs> yeah, to the secret place. <laughs> All right, your turn. Okay, my first one. Right, I got the Encantado. Encantado. What the fuck is that? He's the 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 dolphin man. Okay. Yeah, he's the party animal that impregnates women and is a dolphin. Okay. <laughs> okay. And then there's the Akoru, Akoro Kamui. I knew you wouldn't pick easy ones. No. What it's the big red octopus. Okay. Yeah. And then, because we all know you like tentacles. And then Snallagaster, which is like the reptile, metal beak, ghoul guy from the Fallout game. Remember? No. Uh, It's for, from like West Virginia or something. Okay, it's yeah, like that this really big, clears it up. Big, huge, ugly beast all monster. Right, all right, all right, all right. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and marry tentacles. You're gonna marry tentacles. I'm gonna got marry it. tentacles. They got tentacles for days. Like yeah. they'll keep me entertained. All right. Obviously, I'm gonna fuck the West Virginia ugly thing. Because <laughs> why not? And then I'm gonna kill that stupid dolphin guy. Because I'm pretty sure it's sexual assault. If not, just straight up catfishing, and that's a dick move. Okay, I. Would probs marry the octopus too? Okay. Okay. For obvious reasons. For obvious reasons. Um, they have hands to hold you for days. Wow. Yeah. Okay. I'm sure. And then <laughs> dolphin guy, right? The Encantado. Uh, I would probably bang because you're gonna get yourself a dolphin. He's baby. a party animal, dog. Also, dolphins are very sexual creatures. I don't yeah. know if you know this. I do know this, but it. It goes hand. Do you think hand. okay? Um, well, we need. A, would he let me put my wiener in his blowhole? No, that's not how that works. But they do that. You didn't know that about oh, dolphins. Oh, it's like suffocating them. Yeah. <laughs> Stop! This is taking a turn. No, no. Anyway, I would kill the other thing. Okay, I feel like you found a third one just to kill because you picked two and you're like, yeah, I get married. Fuck these two. <laughs> let me find one to kill off. All right, All right, your turn. My second and last pairing. Okay, Yeti. So, Ice Bigfoot. Okay. <laughs> La Llorona. Okay. And Bloody Mary. Oof. Oh. All right. I'm going to have to say I would marry the Yeti. Really? Yes. Interesting. I mean, he's hairy, just like you. And then um, he could take me to his ice cave. I'm cool with that. He loves clo- cold you know? climates. I didn't I realize I climates. was the Yeti. Uh, and then I would... What are the other two again? La Llorona and Bloody Mary. Um... I would probably have to bang La Llorona okay. and kill Bloody, Bloody Mary. Mary. Okay. Just because I'm not about that mirror life. I can't do it. Sorry. 
So I am not matching up with you on any of these. So I would marry La Llorona. She's had a rough life, and I think I'd get her to stop killing other people's kids. Uh, I would bang Bloody Mary because I could just go into the bathroom and say it three times and boom, oh, there she is. Oh, my gosh. Sorry, okay. I was in the mood. Bloody Mary, pop up. And I would kill the Yeti because he's hairy and he likes it cold and there can be only one. <laughs> you're stupid. Okay. All, All right. right okay. My, my last three. So I went uh, the more human looking creature route this time. Okay. So the first one's D.V. Cooper. Is he real? Okay, the okay, 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 okay. I you like know, this. I like this. Right, I like this, right. I like this. Okay, the Dulahan. The Dulahan. What is the Dulahan? Is like the headless, like uh, banshee type character. She carries her head with her. Okay. Uh, have you ever watched Do Da Da Da? The anime? Mm, no. Oh yeah, she's yeah. the bike rider. The writer, super right? hot motorcycle yes. riding. Yeah. Yes. 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 Okay. Gotcha. Um, and then the uh the third one I have is the Pantianak. Okay. That's the one who's like the lady spirit monster who like will rip genitals like the the genitals off men and like you know. It's Let me just start by <laughs> killing her. Okay. Yeah, yeah, but I mean, they they pull you in somehow, right? They can still like just seduce okay. You. Tell me this: Is DB Cooper Loki? Is DB no. Cooper Tom Hiddleston? No, no. Then I'd fuck DB Cooper just so I could figure out the mystery, <laughs> and I would marry. The chick who holds her head under her arm because I could just, if she was making me mad, I'd just borrow her head. Oh, God, I didn't think about that. I am a genius at picking. Yeah, those are pretty good. So what what would you do? Same. <laughs> Same? All right. High five. No one likes someone ripping off male genitals. Uh. Unless they deserve it, I suppose. All right. That was Mary Fuck Kill. Uh, we have two more games to go. Do you want to make it cryptid first? Or do you want to do your quiz for me? Uh, Let's do make a cryptid and then see how much time we have left okay so how do you want to do make a cryptid this was robin's so if you child. yeah so if you could make up any cryptid like the things that they do what they look like the the quote-unquote powers they have like okay. what would you do you know would you be like the jersey devil type character who wants to warn people about things that are going to happen not the jersey devil oh that's mothman yeah would you want to do that or would you want to be like... I can like, just pick and choose. I can assemble my... Assemble my your... Crew. Yeah. Like, we have the technology. We can okay. ma- we can make it better. I want Mothman's <laughs> Harbinger of Doom because he's protecting people while okay. being creepy and his butt on <laughs> my cryptid. Okay. I want the cuteness associated with Nessie, for sure. Maybe just a really long neck. Um, and I want the elusiveness of Bigfoot. I want the wings of the Jersey Devil and the devil may care attitude of the jersey devil where when they show up they're just like i'm here to fuck shit up also something bad's gonna happen later merge those two together really give people like you know their money's worth when this cryptid (laughs) shows up it's gonna fuck stuff up but he's also warning you about a bigger bigger danger so are you like humanoid are you like what humanoid yeah yeah humanoid with a long craning neck and uh loch ness monster face i I would want to be ghostly, kind of like the Fresno Nightcrawler. Maybe be a little bit more fashionable, not just big old, you know. They have to have pockets. Balloon pants. For sure. <laughs> um, but I, I would love to be like cute and creepy, kind of like that, where it's just like y'all seen them pants walking around. Are you going to be like but, that ghost that asks people what color toilet paper you want and then kills them? No, but I would love to be the ghost that gets distracted when you throw candy on the ground and the I have to count them woman? all. Yeah, I mean, I wouldn't want to be scary like her, but I want that detriment. Make me count the candy. That's weird that you, know? you want a detriment. I'm, why not? I didn't think of it applying a weakness. You to can't my be cryptid. invincible. Why the fuck not? <laughs> I mean, come on. You know what I want, and this isn't an actual cryptid, but because I made my cryptid so fucking hot and cool and dangerous. Yeah. I want my cryptid to have a slumber cycle similar to Pennywise or It uh, from the movie and book It. Where they got to sleep. Maybe not 27 years. That's a pretty fucking long time. Maybe, I don't know, like 10. I forget what Jeepers Creepers is. Do you remember? I don't know. I've only seen that first movie and I don't remember any of it. Except that Justin Long gets killed, which I was pretty happy about. (laughs) I've seen them all and I just don't remember. Um, I watched them way too often. Keep going with your Anyway, okay. So, yes. Ghostly Pants. uh, Counts Candy. Um, I think I would want to be like, you know, the, the angels from Doctor Who. 
Okay, I, cool. I, We're getting out of cryptid territory now, but you're talking about the weeping angels. The weeping angels from Doctor Who. Like, if you look at me, I, you know. You freeze. Frost, yeah, stop moving. Um, I think that would be fun. You know, I, I, I would want to be like a fun cryptid. Like, one that, that is. sounds scary, kind of. I don't think I'm scary. I just don't want to be like a uh, Bigfoot where it's like you never see them and it's just fake, stupid photos of him. Sorry, Bigfoot hunters out there. <laughs> Um, I'm gonna get so much hate after this episode. <laughs> I I just wanna I wanna be something fun. I think I don't want to have like the dangers coming type premonition stuff. Maybe you like wanna warn people that dangers on. Maybe the way? I show up when the weather change, <laughs> like when the seasons change. I know? just realized my cryptid shows up, and my cryptid's basically like, "Hey guys, dangers on the way. It's fucking me." And then they just annihilate the town. <laughs> No, I think I'd want to be so, like a uh, something fun, something cute, something sweet. I don't think I'd want to be something scary. Like you know how Nessie's just like it shows up. Don't you dare talk shit about Nessie. In I'm my not. Presence. It's like she shows up or they show up. Um, they can be whatever they want to be. Works. Um, and so Nessie shows up, does whatever you know. Shows up in a couple pictures. Big old mystery. Leaves. Nothing bad happens. Nothing crazy. Everyone just imagines she's a dinosaur, <laughs> you know? Yeah. yeah. Uh, I want to be that mysterious creature that's just like, y'all seen them. Y'all seen them pants, pants? walking around? <laughs> they got pockets in them, and if you throw candy, they have to count them. Yeah, I think it'd be cute. I, I just, um, I think they're fun. Okay. I think that the idea of the Fresno Nightcrawlers is really fun um just because it's like the weirdest fucking thing that somebody ever was just like, <laughs> bro, have you seen this? And then they named it, and it's just so strange. Okay. It's a pretty good Mega Cryptid. I enjoyed that. I like the difference in vibes. You're just like yeah. destruction and chaos. But not death. I don't want to kill anyone. It's no. like It's like the T-800 in Terminator 2 once John Connor gives him the directive of not to hurt anyone. He's like, okay, cool. And then he kneecaps the guy. He's like, he'll live. That's the fucking <laughs> vibe I want my Cryptid to have. I'm not here to kill anyone, but I'm going to hurt some people and fuck shit up. Yeah. So the Step Brothers directive, we're here to fuck shit up. <laughs> so all right, we got one more game, and it's your quiz for me. All right, all right. So what I have is a fistful of episodes. Okay. Okay. I will tell you what my topic was that episode. Okay. And then you're gonna have to t- tell me or guess, you know, what it was that you covered, covered okay. opposing this topic the, the, and it's very don't difficult oppose each other yeah just they did with. they i mean they paired at the beginning i feel like and then yeah for five episodes and we yeah. realized we couldn't keep doing that yeah because you kept being like i want to cover witches today or some stupid <laughs> shit why that is didn't my match. voice like that it, your voice changes every time i do it uh, anyway okay cool okay you Here, ready so you're gonna give me how many i have 10 okay i want it known right now there's a very real chance I could go zero for 10. Yeah, okay. <laughs> so, okay. This is the one that I think you guys should post your score for. Because if you remember these, fucking A. Kudos to you guys. But all right, give us the first one. All right, so episode 61. Okay. That's a clue, right? Yeah. I like that you're giving me the episode numbers. That gives me an idea. Uh, I covered Ed Gein. Okay. So this is during your serial killer phase. I do get, I get a hint? Do I get like, was it a cryptid? Was it true crime? It is a creature slash legend slash cryptid ish of some type. Fuck, that's a lot of slashes. Um, oh man, this is so. You did this hard. to yourself. I did. This was my idea. <laughs> um, I'm just gonna take a shot in the dark and say the Thunderbird. Nope. Okay. Zacapa. Oh, I almost mentioned that when I was making my cryptid, too, because really? he has the pool of water. Water on his head? Yeah. See, you know, I was thinking about, like, being the dolphin dude and just, you know. Fucking everyone? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Getting but women like, But, like, hot, like Mothman. Okay. Yeah. You just didn't want to make that your cryptid. Now we know what you truly wanted your cryptid to be. <laughs> but I think it's Robin cuter wants being to be pants. a hot pair of pants that everyone wants to get in. <laughs> yeah, some hot. Oh, shit. Yeah. <laughs> Flying pants. Okay. Uh, episode 149. Okay. I did the Lake Shawnee Amusement Park. You know what's sad? After episode 149 is when we announced we hit 1 million oh, yeah? lessons. So I saw this This is going to be aliens. I saw this episode today. I can't, for the life of me, 
This is Aliens, you say. This is way too late for it to be Roswell. 149 is like way out there. I think this is the one I wanted to get the guy on the show who's making the documentary. It's like the Zimbabwe alien contact episode. Nope. God damn it. Battle of Los Angeles. Oh, that's such a great episode. That's su- that's one of my favorite bouts of research I've ever done because it takes such a weird turn and lets you know like, hey, if you ever wanted to know who's the most decorated fucking group of American veterans, it's a bunch of kids that got told you can either hang out in this internment camp or fight for America. And they're like, I guess we'll fight for America since we were born here, dickheads. And they got into a bunch of planes and just brought home fucking medals of honor for days. I love that story. Okay. All right. Episode 13. 13? Yeah. Fuck. Okay. Early on. Yeah, super early super on. Super early. Apparently 500 episodes ago. So episode 13, I did Demon House. You did Demon House. Yeah. <sighs> this is really early on. Was so. this a haunted? Okay. I shouldn't ask that. Okay. Can you give me a, a hint? Can you give me a, was it a cryptid? No. Was it true crime? Nope. Was it a true story? Yeah. Was it a true story of the chick from no. Emily Rose? No, no. Damn it. It's uh, like the biggest alien abduction story. Like the most famous. Roswell? It, no, it's not Roswell. It was an alien abduction. It was just called alien abduction? Yeah. Okay. I think that's the one about the couple I who think drive the couple down the road the and they see the, the car, thing yeah. and they see the guys like waving at them from the spaceship. Okay. Yeah. Got it. All right, episode 173, so we're far out there. Fuck, this is really hard. Um, I covered the disappearance at the Vatican, that little girl who disappeared. Man, you know what was weird? I was thinking about that episode today because we're going to go to the Vatican, mm-hmm. and someone sent us messages like obsessively after that That's episode why I came it out. Up. They sent us like 200 messages about your topic, about like all the conspiracy theories around it. Like they believed, like they wanted us to fucking get on HBO. <laughs> And create a series about this. So I had a topic. Was it true crime? No. Was it paranormal? Uh, It's a mystery. A mystery. God, this is so hard. Uh, everyone else is getting zero for 10. If you don't get zero for 10, you've impressed me. I have no idea. The mystery of Lake Baikal. Oh, that's that fucking super deep lake in Russia that has like bubbles popping up out of it and a bunch of bodies that got discovered on the shore of it it's another good episode god i cover some good shit <laughs> all right the episode 78 i did the texarkana moonlight murders is this the curse of tecumseh tecumseh's curse nope fuck the toxic lady oh <laughs> i really I like thought this game. i had that one hang on it's just because is that five that's five i'm oh for five okay can turn yeah. it around the second half we're on the back nine now all right so episode 18 uh, i covered the sally house <sighs> this is a big one this is a you big covered one. a big one. A big one? Yeah. Oh, I, there's some episodes that are that long ago where I can't remember if you covered a topic or if I covered a topic. Was this a haunting? It's a cryptid. It's a cryptid? Mm-hmm. And it's a big one. It's a big one. It's a big one? Big one. I don't think it's the Chupacabra. Is this the Loch Ness Monster? Well, it can't be the Chupacabra because I covered the Chupacabra. Is this the Loch Ness Monster? No. God damn it. What the is Jersey it? The Jersey Devil. Oh, JD. I'm <laughs> so sorry. All right. This one is more recent. Episode 262. Okay. I covered the Legends of the Smoky Mountains. It's a good episode. I really liked that episode. Your episode. I don't know what I covered. Hang on. Smoky Mountains. What did I pair that with? I don't know. It's your topic. Was it true crime? Nope. No. Was it a cryptid? <laughs> no. Was it? A- it's a true story. It's a true story? Yeah. It's a true event. A true event? Oh, the hints. They get so demeaning after so long. <laughs> I don't know if it's demeaning, but okay. Uh, is this a big one or is this something that you didn't know about until I covered it? I didn't know about until you covered it. Okay. Is this the weird thing that happened in like 1595? No. Thing in the sky? God damn it. What is it? World of Warcraft pandemic? That episode is so good. <laughs> and I interviewed the uh. director of customer support for World of Warcraft when that happened for that episode. You're welcome, folks. I work for him again. All right. Episode 194. Uh. I covered Havana Syndrome. You covered Havana Syndrome? Oh, no. Maybe. I covered okay, Havana Syndrome. Okay, so what Syndrome. did I cover? That's fucked up. <laughs> oh, you changed. i taking this one. I get a point for this. I covered Havana Syndrome. Um. Did you cover D.B. Cooper? No, that's way early in the show. The Codex Gigas. I would never have remembered. I would never have guessed that. I remember the book very well. It's the giant book that 
has all that weird shit in it. Yeah. 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 For sure. Uh, episode 177, I covered the St. Augustine Lighthouse. Hmm. You covered a lighthouse, 177. These are so, so random. Is this an alien abduction? No. Is this a cryptid? No. I think this one's true crime. You think this one's true crime? Is this Charlie Manson? No. Nope. Damn it. This one is the Jersey the Jersey Shore Man Eater. Oh, this isn't true crime. Oh, that's not That's true crime? Man Eater May. Oh. <laughs> that's the shark that it's inspired shark. Jaws. Oh, my bad. <laughs> my bad. <laughs> She lied to me. I, True when crime, I hear man eater, I just thought shark. it was like, uh, you know, I thought it was just a cannibal. <laughs> That's yeah. funny. All right, all right, all right. All right. I'm gonna go over last 10. one. This is last so one. Terrible. Last one. Episode three. Episode three. Yeah. Okay. I covered the chupacabra. <laughs> I could have sworn I covered the chupacabra. No, dog. I wrote that script like while I was still in college. Okay, let me see if I can do this. Episode zero is the pilot, and that's like sleepwalking and past lives syndrome or something like that. Past then we did lives. curses. Mm-hmm. I think we did like curses and witchcraft or something along those lines. Episode three, if you covered a specific topic and your topic was the chupacabra, I would have paired something. I would have tried to pair something with that that I thought went with it. So did I cover a cryptid also? No. No cryptid. Mm-mm. Because I remember, god damn it, I want to just cheat and look at it. <laughs> it's not going to be true crime because I didn't cover true crime mm-hmm. that often back in the day. It, you said it's not a cryptid because you covered a cryptid. It's probably not a curse because I've already done a curse at that point. We did an episode all about curses. You know? Yeah. Because I really wanted to work in that curse of that guy's tomb, which is the entire reason I wanted to start the show was just to tell that story. So it's going to be a ghost then. Yeah, It's going to be a ghost or like... Some ghost story, something famous along those lines. Something that would have brought the listeners in that was recognizable (laughs) with a title. (laughs) Okay, are you giving up? Am I close? Yeah. Okay. Um, Gosh, I feel like it's on the tip of my tongue. Is it? (laughs) (laughs) That's Uh, a horrible audio. (laughs) It is. It's terrible. I give up. What is it? it? It was a poltergeist. It was just called poltergeist? Yeah, the topic was called poltergeist, but it was a very specific you know, poltergeist experience. I feel like I should get a half a point. I narrowed down that it was definitely going to be all right. a haunting. Give yourself all the points. All babe. right. I'm, ten out I'm of taking ten. A ha- one and a half points because <laughs> you gave me a point on accident because you told me what my topic was. Yeah. and forgot to write down your topic. Okay. Half a point. That's what I got. Half a point out of 10. What a horrible way to end the show. <laughs> <laughs> it just shows you guys how much how many episodes we've done and how many topics we've done. There are some topics that are definitely some of our favorites. I thought you were going to go with the um, one about my dad's story, the haunting on Carolina street. I was waiting for that. I to pop tried up, but to, you were rude. I tried to do topics that were like hard for me to remember. No, <laughs> very specific. So instead of like a, poltergeist in general, <laughs> it's very, so specific. instead of like, um, paranormal games four or something like that, I picked like an actual topic. Okay. So it's brutal. Yeah. All right. Well, I think it does say a lot about the fact that we cannot remember specific topics we've covered or what the pairings are, but we can remember the names of people that have been talking to us. If you guys think we, we remember show. our jokes, no. There are, I'm some, yes. Most. The ones no. we've tried to turn into like catchphrases for merch and shit. Yeah. But most of the other ones, nah, not at all. Uh, I definitely am going to make merch that says I can count my traumas. I'm going to tell you that. <laughs> yep. That's a good one. That'll sell well. Yeah. Even to people who don't listen to the show. Yeah. So, all right. It's been 300 episodes. Thank you for being with us. Years. We yeah. appreciate you folks for listening. This episode was, you know, kind of what you've come to expect if you listen to the other ones. Random and nonsense bullshit. All over the fucking place. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, we've been, really enjoyed doing this. We wouldn't keep doing it if we didn't. I had a podcast for this one called Nerd Chills. I enjoyed doing it. I didn't think there was the same level of commitment from everyone else. It, I realized there wasn't a lot of listeners, so we moved on to something else. And I swear, like the third episode, I was listening back to old episodes to check and see when our outro started. And uh, just hearing us thank everyone when we're realizing people were listening and hearing how excited we were to do it and hearing one of our outros, I think episode four or five, we're like, yeah, there's a holiday weekend coming up. We're not taking a break. We love this too much. Uh, we're here seven years later. So. Yeah. Hasn't really stopped 
300 episodes is a lot of episodes so we'll do another one of these in 400 <laughs> at 400 not in 400 i was 400. gonna say that's like seven years from now yeah we're gonna skip over the next uh 400 500 600 episode but anyways yeah that's everything for this episode if you guys want to reach out to us feel free to do so you can email storytime at scaryish.com go to our website scaryish.com click on contact us fill out that form or hit us up on our social medias uh thank you guys for everything robin for folks who would like to donate to us how can they do so you can go to patreon.com slash scaryish podcast uh tiers start at a dollar you can also go to coffee ko-fi.com slash scaryish podcast and those are one-time donations everything really helps us out guys it really does and uh yeah that's i think just about everything 300 yeah. episodes Woo! we made it <laughs> on to the next 300 but uh yeah robin go ahead and sign us out keep on creeping on we'll talk to you guys later bye-bye